so if you would please state your name, your age, where you're from, and what you do. Sure. My name is Chris. I am 25 years old. I'm a state trooper in the Upper Valley area, and I'm from Massachusetts originally. Okay. And uh, what brought you up this way? Uh, just a job. Uh, it's what I always wanted to do. Um, when I graduated college, I was able to gain a little bit of law enforcement experience uh, while I was in college. And uh, upon graduating, I was able to apply with the state police and uh, was given an assignment up here and accepted that. Cool. And this was a lifelong dream, wasn't it? I was, yeah. As long as I can uh, remember, my, I have a, uh, a picture on my Facebook right now of me when I was like, I don't know, two, sitting in a, a police cruiser. In, That's uh, funny. My so, hometown. like, when you were playing cops and robbers as a kid, you meant it. Oh, always. Like, <laughs> we talk about, like, games as a kid. Like, I was always a cop. And, Were you uh, reading kids their rights and all that stuff? Oh, uh, it was the real deal, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. it's, uh, yeah, just always a dream. I don't know, just something that uh, I feel like I was created for that. I, I don't know how else to explain it. So uh, I am thrilled to be able to do it now for, for real. Cool. Well, these, uh, these days, I think we're all thrilled to have you for trying out loud because it's been kind of wild out there. Um, so now you decided to come down and start training at Anytime Fitness here in West Lebanon. Uh, was that as a result of performance for your job, or why did you decide to do that? Well, um, as far as coming to the gym here specifically, I was drawn to the fact that it was 24 hours, uh, that I could just be in, you know, anytime I wanted and, and come in here. Um, it had pretty much all, you know, really all the equipment that I could need. Um, and then as far as kind of my, you know, my own, um, I guess, path to, to fitness, if you want to call it that, started in high school, um, you know, I started with basically just kind of running in calisthenics, really didn't get a whole lot out of it. Um, started going to the gym uh, when I was in college, started lifting weights, kind of very, you know, basic, like, <laughs> beach body weightlifting, a lot of, you yeah. know, muscle isolation and stuff that really wasn't effective for me, uh, but at least it got me into a gym. And then uh, towards the end of college, I started trying to kind of have more effective weightlifting. And then uh, coming here, um, you know, I, I connected with you a short time after, uh, moving up here and starting with the gym here, and uh, you picked out right away that um, a, a focus of what I was doing was a lot of um, running for um, to to meet a a standard, uh, you know, to meet a qualification. Yeah, you were running as hard as you could every time you ran. Yeah. So for my for my job, our uh, part of our um, physical uh, aptitude test, I guess, is a mile and a half run in a, mm -hmm. in a lot of time frame. So in my mind, to train for that, I said, oh, okay, I'm just going to run a mile and a half and try to do it faster every time. Yeah. And um, I found that that wasn't, it, it didn't feel good. I didn't yeah. enjoy it. I wasn't getting anything out of it, really. Um, you know, I could run at a decent rate, but, uh, you know, you give me a two-mile run and forget it. Or you put mm -hmm. a little bit of, put a little weight on me, and, you know, uh, some kind of, you know, any kind of weight, any kind of resistance, forget it. So... Now the other thing I remember you saying is you were doing, uh, I want to say PT testing or PT work when you were at the academy, and yep. that was not the best experience. For uh, you. Also correct, yeah, I, I wasn't real thrilled about the uh, the mindset that went behind kind of the um, the the drive for that training. Um, did, it was, did it feel unsafe? Yep, yeah, there was uh, there was someone that was told at one point that he was using the women's allotted weight uh, mm -hmm. for whatever exercise we were doing, and it was a kid that had. Had never done it before, right. um, and uh, and he ended up hurting his back and, and almost had to leave. Yeah. Um, so almost I wasn't. Like CrossFit type. It had yeah. a very very heavy CrossFit feel, and that kind of yeah. soured me towards CrossFit right right mm -hmm. from the beginning. That was really my only experience with it, and uh, that you know so I, I was looking for something that was was different, um, you know something that was effective, like the idea behind CrossFit is functional fitness, I guess, but mm -hmm. uh, something that's effective, but something that's not. You know, you can leave your man card at the door, like, can I, you know, no one's, no one's asking you into a cult and no one's uh, pushing you to do anything that's unsafe. Right, yeah, because, I mean, at the end of the day, you're training to keep your body from injury because Certainly. your yep. job is literally life and death. I mean, if something, you know...